Alright, this uh, print I started earlier um, is uh, coming to an end. It'll be about, oh, about 45 minutes. Um, but as you can see, it's still printing well. All the parts are still in place. There's no curling. There's no warping. There's nothing that has affected the print at all. Uh, this is an open air printer, uh, so there's no enclosure. Um, there's no raft, no brim, no, no messy ass glue stick at all, no purple Elmer's glue. And you can see all the parts are still in place as they were when it started. You know, and I'm always asked, you know, how am I able to print all the prints that uh, I've done and have never heated the bed. There you can see it right there. The set point in case you're unfamiliar with 3D printing. This here is the nozzle, or this is the nozzle 210. Right there you can see that it comes on and goes off. That's 210. You can see this is considered the bed, the icon for the, uh, the bed right here. And there's no heat. The set point, this is the set point is zero room temperature this is the bed so I've never heated the bed never half heated the bed and they say well it has a heated bed why don't you use it I say well why bother why should I waste time and energy heating and cooling the bed to do 3d printing if you can print without heating the bed I would rather do that because then I don't have to worry about the other issues that heating causes because some people can't even get the print off the bed in the first place because, oh, it's, you know, and they say, well, put it in the refrigerator, it'll pop right off. Well, see, I ha don't have that problem because I don't heat the bed in the first place. All right, this is the means that I use right here, right the, as you see it in a video. All right, so you don't have to take my word for anything. That's not the metal extruder right there. That's the original plastic extruder because I've never had any issues on all four of my Ender 3s, including my clients. They've never had any issues with the uh, plastic extruder body right there. It's in service right now. All right, so I would say don't, don't change to the metal extruder because you open up other problems that seem to come up, other issues you have to deal with that this extruder will never have. Okay? And just because if one thing, that arm ever gets uh, damaged or something happens, it's like three bucks, five minutes, and you're immediately back to printing. You don't have to calibrate anything, you don't have to set the E-staff, you don't have to do anything. Just remove and replace with original OEM extruder, original equipment. All right? Plastic, uh, this is the white plastic uh, Bowden tube right here. You can see that for yourself. That's the means to get filament from there to a moving part of the printer, several parts. This is X. The table is Y. And Z is the, uh, is the lead screw right there, is a lead screw. That's for the gantry to go up and down, or up because it only goes up during the print. Okay? And you know what? Since I only use this, this is the old school tramming tool, right? It's all that's required. I don't have an electronic gizmo right there because there's no compensating for highs and lows of this particular setup. This surface is flat and is known to be flat across its entire surface. So this electronic thingy on the side to compensate is useless. It would never work in service. It would never have to be used because there is no highs and lows. That's how it works. If you eliminate certain aspects of 3D printing because they're just not needed, then you eliminate all the hassles. And that does include heating the bed. Right there it is. These are all solidly on the table, on the print surface right now. As you see it, I've always been asked, how am I able to print without heating the bed? 
right here. You see it right here. Happening right now. All right, happy 3D printing in 2023. Yeah, see this? There's no arms or levers or gizmos or gadgets or anything to redirect the filament because it's right here. Not up here. It's right here. Straight in. Straight out. Right, no added friction of any kind of levers or gizmos or gadgets and it keeps this area open. All right. 